Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a video on how to improve as a league player. And we're going to be looking at things that actually are going to help you, but also how you use those things to help you. So I think the stuff that can help you improve as a player can be split into two different categories, the instructional stuff and educational stuff. The one I mean by instructional stuff is like telling you what to do and how to do it. So you read the information or you watch it and then you just go and put it into practice. You don't really have to think very much. Educational stuff is more about informing your choices. They tell you things that you then need to take away and they help you decide what to do. So we're going to go through all the different things that help and let's start with the obvious one with YouTube. So YouTube is one of the few places where you get instructional and educational stuff and with the instructional is more like guides, how to's, tips, explaining strategies or techniques. Like you're going to watch these videos, you're going to go into game and you're going to practice what you've just watched. These videos will give you a really good kickstart to a new champion or a new idea because you can just copy what's in the video and go into game and do it for yourself. The educational stuff is more like tier lists, solo queue secrets, techniques, advice videos like these actually. These videos really aren't designed to be copied, you just take the information and then you adapt it to you. These are more about improving your understanding or giving you some knowledge and then using that knowledge to improve your own play. Something like mindset is really the perfect example, like nobody can tell you exactly how to be in a game or how to deal with things but they can tell you what will help you, what you should aim for and then it's up to you to adapt that to yourself and follow through with it. Streams are actually another really good way to learn and it focuses a lot around asking yourself why. So why are they doing that certain thing? Why did they make that play? Why did they build that? Why did they roam? And the list goes on and on. Like if you can figure out why someone is doing something then you know in what situation you should do that as well and that is what's going to help you in your own games. If you're lucky then the streamer will actually tell you this stuff as they are doing it. Like watching someone like me, Foxdrop, Huzz or Valkyrie who go over what we do is really easy for you because all you have to do is watch and have it explained for you. Watching other streamers like Froggen or Gosu who don't explain it as much will also actually help you improve still but you'll have to figure out the why part for yourself. Streams are really useful for improving your play but there actually isn't too much I can say in this video because it all revolves around asking yourself why. If you can figure out why someone is doing something in that certain situation then you can take what works and you can put it into your own game and that is the best thing you can take away from streams. Now moving on to your own replays and the biggest thing I guess is why would you actually watch your own replays? Watching your own replays is actually one of the best things you can do if you want to get better and especially it helps figuring out where you want to improve. It's going to help you figure out what you're doing wrong, what you could do better, bad habits that you do without thinking that are actually kind of harmful. It'll also make you realize a lot of things and I'm not actually joking about this at all but like how that one CS wasn't worth taking so much damage for or why are you so close to dragon when you can't contest it and you die anyway these are things that sound obvious now like in hindsight and they're very easy to spot especially when you're watching like a stream how many times have you thought why the hell are they doing that but in game you do them anyway without thinking about why you are doing it so that is kind of why you would watch your own replays and now these are three things that you can really do to make the most of your time and get the most out of looking at the replays. First one, watch your lane phase. This is where you can probably improve the most and I'm not joking. Watch how you farm, how you position, how you trade and how you control the wave. Those are the four really big things. Everything you do in the lane phase should have a reason for it and you want to try and figure out that reason and honestly if you don't have a reason then you know next time not to do it. The second and the third thing are very similar but skip to every time you die and skip to every time you get a kill or an assist. Watch the fights where you die or where you kill people, see what went well and what went badly and then you can learn from it going forward. So next up are websites and I think there are kind of two main areas of websites I guess. The first one is kind of like stat websites like champion.gg. Think of it almost like you're back at school. These are stat websites that give you data and evidence to back up your idea. They are really there to help you make up your own mind. You shouldn't just blindly follow it. Now these websites are good for things like masteries, runes and item builds and show you what some people are having success with. You can then look at them, see if they make sense to you and it gives you an idea of what kind of things are good. These kind of websites are also really good if you are just starting to learn a champion as you can use that information as kind of a base to build on and tweak with it as you play. The second group of websites are like lolking or solo mid guides. You can really use these in two different ways. The first one is take the information 
and figure it out yourself and then formulate a plan. And this is mostly going to be with item builds as they kind of come with explanations on when things are good. Now this might not be the most popular thing I'm going to say this video, but in my opinion, the best guides are not from pro players at all. Honestly, most pros write really crap guides. There is hardly any information there and it's only really basic information anyway. What you want to look for is high rated guides with details about items, matchups and phases of the game. Those three are the big really important things in a guide. The second way you can use these sites is by doing exactly what they say. Good guides will come with information on how to play the lane, how to play matchups and your job in team fights, things like that. This is stuff that you can just directly listen to and follow what it tells you to do. It kind of fills in the gap of experience by telling you what you'd otherwise have to go and figure out by yourself. And for example, Ari versus LeBlanc. The only way you really win that matchup as Ari is to charm LeBlanc as she distorts towards you. Now you can either work that out by playing the matchup and figuring it out yourself, or you can read first and find out from someone who has already figured it out. The final biggest way to improve as a player actually comes from yourself, and you want to be talking to yourself. I'm actually not kidding either, by the way. Everything you do should be for a reason. So talk to yourself, ask yourself, cast yourself. Things like, I'm going to push now because will actually help a lot. Either you'll push because you have a reason, or you'll realize that actually, I have no idea why I'll push right now, so I'm not going to do it. This last thing sounds really silly, but it's actually going to help you so much in your games. I'm not pulling this stuff out of my ass either. Like, I have used everything in this video to improve myself as a player, and especially talking to myself when I stream or do commentaries, it actually helps improve my own play a lot. So that wraps up another video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe if you did, and I'll catch you in my next video. Oh,